Hi everyone, it's Miss Nancy and Nevi and Murphy. We are actually here to talk with you about our Sunday school lesson this week. I'm so excited about this poem that we will share. The Sunday school lesson today is Christ Has Many Faces and the poem um, really does a good job explaining um, exactly what that means. It sounds kind of funny, but I'm excited for you to hear the poem and really understand what that means. But let's go ahead and start with our prayer. God, you created us all in your own image. Your image is so big that you can make us different, and yet all of us like you. Help us to see each other as we learn through your son, Jesus Christ, who lived with us and is always with us. We pray this in your name. Amen. 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 Okay, so before we get started and listen to this poem, um, I just want to kind of explain what you're going to do is just, um, the screen's going to go blank. There's not going to be any pictures. We're not going to be on it. It's a voice recording. Um, and what I'd love for you to do is just close your eyes and listen to the words and really imagine what, um, this what you're listening to and um, when we come back I want to just kind of talk with my girls a little bit about what they heard and hopefully you and your mom and dad and parents and loved ones can sit down and discuss what the poem is all about too so let's listen and we'll see you when we get there. Christ has many faces the following story poem was inspired by James Weldon Johnson's poem, Creation, and by Walter Brueggemann's work on Gospel Imagination. God takes a look around. Now it's up to you, and you, and you. I made you all different just as the deer is different from the whale and the tree is different from the rose. I made you all different. When I created you, I said, this is good. You are my children and you are my good creation. My son, Jesus Christ, came to live with you. He is here with you now. You learned what he did while he was with you. He healed the sick. He comforted the poor. He loved all of you. Now you do the same. Jesus sent 70 people to do what he did. Now he sends you to do what he did. He sends you to be him, to be the face of Jesus Christ to everybody you meet. And then he wants you to see his face, the face of Jesus Christ in them too. Children of God, Look to each other. Look past the blue and brown eyes. Past the noses and teeth. Look past the clothes that you are wearing and how tall or short you are. Use your gospel eyes and imagine that you see into each other's hearts. Inside each other's heart is a spark, a light. That is you. That is me. I light your heart with love. We all have that light inside our hearts. We all have Christ in our hearts. Close your eyes and think about Jesus. Open your eyes and imagine Jesus in everyone around you, blue-eyed and brown-eyed, 
and green-eyed Jesus, dark and light Jesus, tall and short and thin and broad Jesus, Jesus in boy and girl, Jesus in rags and Jesus in ball gowns, Jesus in you. Now you are in God's world. Welcome each other. Welcome Jesus. God needs all of you here. So, wasn't that a good poem? Um, what part stuck out the most to you? Um, Jesus sent people out into the world to do what he did. 70 people. Jesus sent 70 people out in the world to do what he did. What did he do? He loved everybody. He loved everybody. What else did he do? He healed the sick. He basically took care of people. Right? He made miracles. He made miracles. And, well, we can't really make miracles, but can we love people? Yes. Yeah, we can show love for sure. Um, Murphy, what about you? What stuck out the most for you? The part that stuck out the most for me was whenever it said, inside each heart is a spark of light that is you and that is me. So who is talking there? Who do you, is that God? Do you, so yes. we have God's light in us. So we can actually probably create miracles because God is in us. But small miracles like, you know, making somebody feel happy and stuff. Um, I, the part that stuck out to me the most is now God has sent us out into the world to be the face of Jesus. So we are expected to love everybody, to see, and to understand, really, that we're all different. We're all created different. Do you think God created you guys? You're actually sisters. Same mom, same dad. And look at you. Blue eyes, brown eyes. We're all created different, right? Um, so that's the part that sticks out with me and is going to help me to remember to be nice and kind and show compassion and love. Um, so I hope you all uh, find the meaning and something that you can do and take away with, from this poem. I'd like to close with a prayer. God of love, you made us out of your love. You ask us to love one another. Now send us out into the world to love one another as you love us. Thanks be to God. We can't wait to see you. We hope you stay healthy and happy. And until we see you again, we love you. Peace be